Okay, how about an outdoor image? This shot is absolutely gorgeous. Another one by Anna Brandt. I'm going to show you some of the outdoor overlays for this one. So we have an outdoor balance here. This is in the specialist section. This will just balance out if you have a white balance or anything like that. Before and after, you can slide the opacity up on this one to suit your image. This will just give your image a tonal balance. I'm bypassing the airbrush section right now and I'm coming down to the finishing section. We have some outdoor finishes here. I'm just going to flatten down. So let's see. We have Fall in Love. This is a fall overlay. And lovely for couples. It just gives a lovely warm tint to your image. And again, you can slide the opacity if needed, but they should come on pretty much the opacity you need them to be. Golden Fall is another full action and this will add a lot more gold to your image as you can see here. And again, slide the opacity to suit your image. Summer Vibe. This is great for summer images, <laughs> as the name suggests. This will add kind of a beautiful hazy summer's day to your image there. All non-destructive. As you can see, they don't flatten, they don't take anything away from your background layer until you save. Hazy Daisy, this is a lovely kind of lemon feel to your image here. It will haze all over. It will just add that beautiful golden summer day. Peach Pit. I love this one. <laughs> it does what it, what it says on the tin. Again, it will add that beautiful peachy haze to your image. Stunning for this image, I think. I like that one. Winter time. Is it cold? Do you wish to kind of, are they wrapped up warm? Do you wish to add that beautiful winter toning to your image? Again, this will do so. And mood. This is for those who want to create kind of the darker, slightly more filmy feel to their image. It just adds that slight bit of grit. It will blacken those blacks, add the vibrant tone, add a little more shading. So that's the outdoor section. How about the black and whites? Let's go for, we have black and white art noir, high key, Bella and simple. I really like Bella. Bella is, um, as you can see right now, it is playing a lot of different things on your image to intelligently create the black and white. And then you have these black and white extras here. We can darken, add contrast, mattify the image here. We can darken it down, maybe add some contrast. So that is kind of how to achieve the dark black and white. Back to black and white Bella again. Let's brighten it up and add a little bit of matte. I'm going to take the brighten down a bit. Again, these are all sliders. So that is the kind of a light effect applied. That's just black and white Bella. That is a lightning effect. And these are kind of the dark moody film effect. <laughs> 